she's ready with that okay and maybe if you start with because this is what i'm going to show ask them to come and um see that because they're they're destroying evidence it's, it's, they're not going to answer for a long time <laughs> It's all going, all the routes. Um, I need to be put through to the wildlife crime unit for the Metropolitan Police. Yes, it's in, it's in relation to an ongoing crime that's happening at the moment where evidence is being destroyed. The, um, I have a, crime, a wildlife crime reference number, 1786. 1786, that was for the 2nd and the 3rd of October it was first reported. Um, we've had no follow-up and now that um, the evidence is being destroyed, I'm watching a crane taking away. The wildlife crime that's happening is that the habitat of bats and badgers is being removed. It's on the Harville Road near the Dogs Trust. No, they haven't got licences. They haven't got licences. Have the police seen the licences? <laughs> uh, we've checked with Natural England. Natural England is saying they do not have any licences issued for HS2, for bats or bats. This was on the 10th of October. If they issued them this week, it's still retrospective and the evidence that they destroyed the habitats on the 2nd and the 3rd and the 10th, have, um, uh, that is still ongoing and we need the wildlife crime people to come down now. Harville Road in Hillingdon, yes. So the police are now saying that the, they have licences. Who have licences? Hello? Uh, who is it that has the licences? No, they haven't. The security guards, uh, were they able to show the police the licences? I don't think so because they've got no planning commission and no licences. The planning commission be, should be issued by Hillingdon Council and the licences should be issued by Natural England and neither of those authorities have issued any any paperwork for this site. The security guards may say they have it, but they don't. Thank you. So the, what the police are saying at the moment, they're just typing up what I've said, but the police are satisfied that the security guards have told them they've got all the consents and licences but they haven't actually been shown any. They're very gullible these days. <laughs> well, it's ridiculous. One law for one and another for another. Huh. They're not above the law.
They're clearing habitats. Yes, and badgers. They are both located on this site. There were no licenses being issued by Natural England and they have to be if they're protected species. And there's no planning permission from Hillingdon Council. HS2 are saying they don't need it. Um, again, that is a disputable point. But we're, we're, we're um, following up the wildlife crime today. We need the wildlife crime to come down and see the removal of evidence, which is going on in front of me at the moment. Well, that's a disputable point as well, but certainly the, the wildlife um, has to have licenses. Thank you, thank you. Natural England have not issued any licenses. Um, I, can, I can confirm that. Uh, Emma, I've got the police on the phone. They're saying that the licenses are all in place. But you had which, it straight from Natural England. Which licenses? Well, they're saying everything they need. No, um, I've just had it reconfirmed from someone who's talked directly to Natural England. Hello? Um, no bat licenses have been issued. They have root-wide badger licenses, but they... They're, he's wanting to know what species of bats are on site. Well, we can give him a list. We can give you a list. We can provide a list. The point uh, is that the correct survey I'm, is I'm, been done. I'm going to hand you over. Hello. You're asking me to name all the bat species off by heart. <laughs> I can give you a few. Uh, common pipistrelle. Soprano pipistrelle. Lithesius pipistrelle. N A U T H. Yeah, sure. Sarah, they would like to switch it. Okay. okay. Okay, so the local officer deals with it first. It may not have even got the wildlife time in it. Um, that's, that's quite worrying. Um, but thank you. Can, can, okay, but can we go straight to the wildlife crime unit? Would you have a telephone number for us to ring? You can't. Okay, thank you. Thank you, bye. Okay, so what he said was, we can't go directly to the wildlife crime unit. We can go through the police. So this is the Metropolitan Police. They're now reporting it to the um, person on duty, the officer on duty, who will decide whether to come up or not, or whether it is a wildlife crime. And if it is, they'll pass it on to the Wildlife Crime Unit. But if they decide it isn't, they won't pass on the information. So now it transpires that the Wildlife Crime Unit may not actually know that the bat habitat is being um, destroyed and now taken away. Across the road now, um, the security have brought the Harris fencing right to the kerb, the edge of the road. And if you look, um, a few metres behind is the old cha chainmail fence. The area between the road and the chain mail fence is the area they're meant to be doing wildlife surveys from the 9th of September to the 9th of November 2017. They've actually destroyed all the habitats. Um, you can actually see evidence of them destroying this. They're actually meant to be surveying until November. I'm not just another pretty face. And I do wear a scot for a reason. <laughs> oh. 
look like Alice. Us Celts, we don't get dressed up for nothing. <laughs> I'm prepared to say more. <laughs> It's about the forest, man. It's about your children. It's about your future generations to come. When they can't breathe clean air. That's the truth, man. Especially in London. He's the leader. No, the dog is the leader of the leader of this movement. Oh, there you go. Yeah. There's no need for human rights if we have human responsibilities. So we're all completely responsible and I hope he's getting that. <laughs> Taxi! I'm going to ask if they want some ding dong. <laughs> 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 <laughs>